The Trump administration is petitioning the Supreme Court to consider the president's attempts to ban certain transgender individuals from military service after his orders were blocked by lower courts. The Supreme Court is not obligated to take up the case, but if they do, it would circumvent a separate layer of the American judicial system, because the original blocks by judges in Washington State, California, and the District of Columbia are currently sitting in federal appeals courts. We will not be the White House says it wants to get around the appeals process to speed things up and get the Supreme Court to reach a decision before its summer recess. Speed is an issue because even if the administration's ban is ultimately upheld, it can't actually be enforced until that decision is made. President Trump's ban orders the removal of transgender people from the military who specifically experience what's called gender dysphoria. That's a condition where a person's conflicted between how they mentally identify as a gender versus the gender they had at birth, to the point where it impairs their ability to function. Exactly how many transgender people have this condition is unknown, but most estimates are small percentages and the American Psychiatric Association opposes the ban. The lower courts ruled the dysphoria ban was effectively the same thing as Trump's original attempt in 2017 to ban all transgender soldiers, which they said was unconstitutional. The petition to the Supreme Court also comes just days after a rare public dispute between Chief Justice John Roberts and the president, who consistently criticizes the judicial system for perceived liberal bias. Roberts is a conservative appointed by the Bush administration.